Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Reassembly with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the final episode of the Salt Mod. In today's episode, we are going to get maximum ship resource and hopefully build a final version of our cruiser, in which I will finally name. So, it's been a long road, it's been a fun road, and I've really, really enjoyed this mod. Honestly, one of the better mods out there. But of course, I do want to try all of the mods, or at least all of the really highly rated mods on the Steam Workshop, and I think we've spent a bit too much time with the Salt mods. So, let's get straight to it, let's start capturing damage stations, killing everything in our path and harvesting as much resource as possible. The faster we can get our credits, the better. I think the final version of my ship, as much as I do love the drones, will probably consist of mostly lasers, although I will still be unlocking the different kinds of drone, as I'm just going to start spamming resource, I'm going to start building some buildings somewhere, and then make sure I get enough credits for that, as it would take a long time otherwise. Or, I could of course simply just conquer the universe, one of the two. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the station just to the south of us. Well then, drones. The drones are growing on me, I will say. It kind of depends on what type of enemy you face. The red faction are actually really good at soaking the damage, but as one person did rightly point out in the comments, one other use of the drones is that they do draw fire away from your cruiser, or at least away from your ship, whatever your ship actually is. So if there's drones surrounding you and fighting the enemy, the enemy is going to pour a significant amount, amount of damage into their point defense, simply into the drones, not into us, so we're going to avoid a lot of damage that way, which is a pretty nice benefit. Especially when you're spamming out so many drones, like with the swarm shards. Oh, we're in sentinel territory. And they have nuclear weapons, so long range, just let the drones do their work, we don't want to be anywhere near those nukes, because that might happen. It was merely a setback. Let's get back over there. And done. Also putting this one one down so it's the same height as that one, so we can put a little bit of protection on top of it. And I will have those, like all the others, on point defense. So those are currently on left mouse point defense as well. Okay, so only the drones are on right click, and is everything in the correct place? Yes, okay. Continuing on. All the drones. We are the ultimate swarm ship. With a nice bit of point defense, honestly. Just need to make sure not to be so close to ships which can shoot nuclear warheads at us. Generally good advice, honestly. One more station for us. So how much do I need for the next type of drone? I think I'm just going to get the protecting shard, and that's probably it, because this will just take too long, honestly. The swarming shards and the protection yeah, the protecting shards and the swarming shards, I think I will most likely mix the two together. I probably won't go all into one, because the the protecting shards have a ridiculously slow regen rate, but are of course very, very useful, and will be even more useful in a drone squad, because they're going to shield all the drones from, from a lot of point defense. At least, that's the theory. Also, I should keep on saving up my resource rather than keep on spending it, since I can sell it at the stations, which is more efficient than building, uh, well, descending buildings into space. Unless, of course, I want to populate an asteroid and then use that to farm some resource, which I could do. Which I could do, it would be quite efficient, actually, but would take up far too much time. Excuse me. Thank you. Almost. That was the smallest starting station I've ever seen. 
Not only, to, not only it's a bit bigger than that, like an actual damaged um, ship, it was just the core and a stick. Actually, we do want to wait around to sell the resource we have. Why did I just get plus 200? Liberated Lego Lord. But I just made it. There we are. So I'll just go ahead now and I'll skip until we have enough credits to finally buy the next type of drone. Before I forget though, let's name our cruiser. So like I said, I was going to take this from the comment section and one of the first comments I saw and honestly one of the best sounding ones, even if I'm not quite sure if it fits 100%, is the Prismatic Cruiser. So that is our ship's new name. Continuing on. Now we're almost there, able to purchase the Protecting Shard. We're only 1,000 credits off. So as soon as we get the those, of course, I'll be right back, and then we'll use them in place of probably three or four of our current swarm shards. I've had a pretty good idea. Since we're so well suited for killing the plant faction and harvesting their resource, why don't we do that and use the asteroids they leave behind to build a brand new city? This way we get a load of resource to start the city, we get credits for making the city, and then the city will start producing resource for us. And honestly, we just do really well against this particular faction because most of its damage, not all, but most comes from those projectiles which, well, we've got a lot of point defense, so they really don't hurt us too much. So let's just clear a nice safe area around here, then we'll start putting down some more buildings. In fact, I could start doing it now if my lasers stop aiming at the asteroid, that'd be great. There we go, there's a building now spawning there, and of course the buildings will start fighting as well and start clearing any leftover plants, so we don't need to be overly careful about that. But let's just make sure we use the ones which are actually using the point defense, like this one here, so we want this one to be made more. In fact, what we'll do is we'll remove the other two just for now, so we've only got the defense lasers. Ooh, but that one produces loads of extra credit. <laughs> but for now, I think I'd much rather have defense lasers. Maybe we should clear the plants out first, then put down the buildings. Just because I am destroying a lot of the asteroids which I'm trying to grow the buildings on, which isn't going overly well. Either way though, we have now just got about enough credits to purchase the protecting shards. So these cost a little bit more. So what we're going to do is delete these two. So the swarming shard is for... Oh, it's actually a little bit more than I thought. Okay. Wow, looks a lot bigger than I thought. Is that regenerating? Oh, wow, that is ridiculously slow. But I do want to try them out, so... No real option here, just... Let them grow, I suppose. How much health does the actual shard itself have, the actual item? 200 health. The drones have 13. But they have a 200 health shield. To make up for that. Okay. We'll have to wait a while now for them to actually grow, then we can test them out. I don't think I'm really going to do much more to the cruiser. What I'll do is I'll make an alternate version of the cruiser, which I'll add the lasers to in a little bit. Okay, that seems like a good place to plant a building. Back up to it, and aiming! A little bit too close. We have a building! Now once that's fully repaired, we should be able to harvest that for resource any given time. Yay, it does indeed have the defense laser, fantastic. And we have two shield drones, however I'm going to wait until I regen a little bit more. So do I really want to go back to harvesting plants, there's a chance we might not be able to do that. Oh, that has drones! I thought that had... Oh, no it doesn't have a defense laser, we've just put down a drone launcher. I mean, that's still pretty darn cool. Look how fast it's spawning them. Okay, fine. Spawning the shield drones. 
Oh, one shield drone which isn't going the same way as the others. I think, really, we should leave the plant faction areas, just because they're not particularly good tests for our new drones. So what I'm going to do is try and head over to the agent and see how the agent likes our new drone type. Is the drone type worth its 600 ship resource per shard? Also, what I've decided to do is put the regular drones onto a different mouse binding than the shield drones. This way, we're not constantly shooting them out when they're simply not ready. Just let my drones destroy that. Excellent. In high enough numbers, the drones are absolutely deadly. Let's get over there, then rest near our station so that all our drones can actually regen. It does take a long time to get the full load out. I mean, this one's still loading in. Nope, it's just now loaded in, so this one just about has four. However, it can have more, can't it? Yeah, so actually, no, that's not finished yet. It still has another two to load in. Defend me against the cargo ship drones. It may try and hurt me. And let's just rest here for a little bit. Oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Um, fire the shield drones, because we're probably going to lose the shards anyway. We've got quite a long range laser. And they all just rammed into the enemy and died. It was a stationary enemy, lads. Did you have to do that? Either way, either way, we're now here. We're quite well protected, so let's just chill, get all the drones sorted, and give one final test of the shield drone. I feel like they're going to be good, but only in such specific circumstance, and relying on the AI, the drone's AI, is not the best, really. I would much rather have the lasers. The lasers or the swarm drones, because there's so many of them, it's okay if their AI is a bit derpy, because they simply get remade almost instantly. Ooh, look at that resource we're getting. Beautiful. The agent is a little bit too close for comfort now, so we are going to go off and try and defeat it before it gets any closer to our station. Just just keep on spawning drones until we get there. There they are. The Helios agent. And there's quite a few of them. My drones have already been sent in, which is good. Not sending in the shield just yet. Okay, send them in. Honestly, we could consider perhaps getting these drones stuck inside of ourselves because they won't die to hitting us and they would provide a 200 shield each. And considering the Salt Faction doesn't actually have its own shields, that wouldn't be too bad. That didn't go too well. I should have released them with the rest of the drones, but they're already dead. That didn't take any damage. It, 200 isn't enough. It's simple as that. It just dies so easily. No, one of them was left alive was left alive, yeah, it's just not as good as the swarm drones because of sheer number and sheer power. So what we'll do now is we'll quickly take away the drones from the second cruiser. Uh, which one's which? They're both the exact same, so we can just do it to this one. Take away all the drones, or at least most of the drones, and replace them with the various laser systems we currently have. Actually, could buy another one. And would it be worth it in the slightest? No, we already have the um, Focus 4. I don't think I'm going to use any of the others, really. But since we have the credits, I mean, we could do. In case we have some spare resource left over and we don't quite have enough for the major laser. I think if anyone has the last name Laser, I would highly recommend them becoming a major. Just so you could say, I am Major Laser. And a random side note. Which amused me far too much. Just scatter them around a little bit. Those drones really were expensive. Okay, so these are 500 each. Those are 450, those were 600, okay. Don't want them all in one location. They do have quite a lot of health per one. Actually, they have more health than the regular armor blocks, which is really good, so it means we don't have to worry about putting them in a somewhat vulnerable position, as if they're holding on onto armor, since the normal sections are a bit weaker, but these are quite powerful, so it doesn't really matter too much. I won't be able to quite afford this, so what I'm going to do is quickly remove some of these. And I'll put these on auto-fire, so they're not always firing at every single last thing, only firing at the enemy. At least, that's the theory. And this should do a lot of damage. Two. And save. 
and all of these please go on to autofire. <laughs> it's like the whole ship just fell apart. Oh, we still have a few drones left. Wait until we've got the main the main lasers up. Now we do. Okay. I actually don't quite know exactly what what auto fire does. So I could be wrong about what I was just saying. I'll re. Well, I killed that one pretty darn quickly, and that one. I want to kill this, but it's going to just just keep evading, isn't it? It's really not worth the effort, is it? However, that little shielded guy I would like to try and kill as well. Excuse me. Lasers! Oh wow, that just obliterated its, its little shield. Oh, there's no more agents, is there? And I don't want to try and regenerate the world because of the problems we've had in the past. So we're just going to have to go somewhere and try and find some more enemies, that's all really. I think this is just going to be the final version of the cruiser, honestly. I love the shape of it, I don't really feel like making a whole new ship just to hold lasers, and they can easily have either drones or lasers. That's quite a flexible shape in terms of ship design, so just keep as it is, really. I just want a good battle. And not to ram into quite as many asteroids. Is that so wrong? We're heading into plant faction territory, I think. No, Sentinel! Oh, that's perfect. Sentinel has the highest natural armor, so this is going to be perfect. Can we do enough damage to actually kill them? Also, do I have enough power reserves to actually use so many lasers? I did a fair bit of damage to it. Once again, even though that's one of the more frail of the opponents, it is very heavily armored. What I want is an enemy that doesn't run away, so we can have a straight-up fight. I don't care if we die, honestly. I just want to see how much damage we can do. Hello! Oh, yep, yeah, we killed that pretty convincingly. A sh there's a couple of shrouds here. They're not the most powerful, but they do have quite a bit of armor, so let's try and go for one of those. Then the scythes, which are their starting ships, which are still devastating. And utterly obliterated. Yep, we are doing a lot of damage with our lasers. It's just a matter of getting close enough. I think what I would do if I wanted to spend more time with this faction is honestly change the ship around a little bit so it does more damage. Uh, sorry, is more uh, maneuverable so that it can do more damage. That was the thought path I was going with there. Even when you hit the heavily armored um, areas of the ship, it doesn't take too long to cut through it. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Anything that isn't ridiculously heavily armoured and shielded is going to die very quickly. Once again, uh-oh, that's one with Nuke. We don't want to actually fight that because that would be terrible. As we no longer have any long-range weaponry, which means it's always going to hit us with a Nuke because we have to be so close to it. Well, there's one way to kill us. Nuclear weapons. Ooh, that's a crescent. Okay, don't want to get in front in front of the crescent, however, since it can do more damage that way. Oh, there was a nuke. I didn't realize that was a... That's not Guardian. Where did, where did the nuke come from? Guardians don't have nukes. I think today we have found out that we really don't like nuclear weapons and that lasers are awesome, but if you don't have some form of long-range weaponry, you are going to be stranded. Either way, this is the end of the Salt Mod. I may come back to it briefly in the future to actually build a new ship if the fancy takes me, but right now I think I've really had enough of the faction. It was very, very enjoyable, but after so many episodes you do start to get bored with the same kind of weapons. Either way, Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Reassembly, the modded series, is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And of course, if you have any suggestions for a future mod, please leave them in the comments below. I do read every single comment as I always have and always will strive to. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Thank you.